Hello, welcome to Smart and Special Teaching. Let's review the short sounds for the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. The key word for the A is apple, A. Ah. The key word for E is E, eh, Ed. The key word for I is itch, I. Eh. The key word for O is octopus, A. Ah. The key word for U is up. Oh, uh. Now let's review the long vowel sounds. The long vowels say the, the letter names. So let's review the keywords for those and the sounds. The keyword for A is safe. A. The keyword for E is peat. E. The keyword for I is pine. I. Keyword for O is home, O. U has two keywords, rule, U, and mule, U. Now let's review when we use that long sound in a silent E syllable. Look at this first word. The word is pin and it ends in a constant. So the vowel is saying it's short sound, I. But when I add a silent E at the end, it makes that I say it's long sound. And pin becomes the word pine. So the E is silent in the word pine. Let's try another one. We have the word rip, R-I-P becomes R-I-P-E, which is ripe. So the silent E has the job of making vowels long, but silent E has more than one job. And the word have, its job is not to make the vowel long. If it was, this would say have. The job in this word is that the E is there because English words are not allowed to end in U or V. So we put it there so that the V does not break the rule and be the last letter of that word. So don't get confused when you see this E and call that have. Let's look at some more words where the silent E is doing its job of not letting the V be the last letter in the word. We have these words give, olive, active, and inventive. In these words, the I-V-E is not saying I've, it's saying if. So don't get confused when you see I-V-E and be tricked into saying I've. It is if, give, olive, active, and inventive. There's one more thing that, that's, that we need to talk about with I-V-E. In the word give and olive, I-V-E is a sound. But in the words active and inventive, the I-V-E is actually a suffix. Let's take a closer look at active and inventive. If I draw a base word grid, and then I add in my base word act, I can then add in my suffix I-V-E and you can see that that is a suffix, not just a sound. With inventive, my base word is invent and then I add I-V-E for my suffix again, inventive. Here's something else that we need to learn about silent E with the letter S. When the letter S is between two vowels, it sometimes says its other sound, Z. So when the word rose, that S is saying the Z sound. And also in the word nose, because it's between two vowels, the O and the silent E. But in the word froze, the Z is there, not the S. So how do you know when to use the S and when to use the Z? Again, you need to use your visual memory to help you know which one to use. If you don't know, you can use a dictionary to help you.
Silent E can be in words with more than one syllable. Here we have careful and careless. The suffixes change the meanings of these words. Let's try to read some two-syllable silent E words. We have reptile, grapevine, complete, and sunrise. Now I have a question for you. Can you tell which two of these words are compound words and which are not? If you said grapevine and sunrise were the compound words, you would be correct. Now let's try to read some three-syllable words with the silent E being one of the syllables. Look at the first one. We have a closed syllable, vow. Then we have another closed syllable, n. Then we have the last syllable being a silent e syllable, time. Vow and time. Now let's look at the next one. We have con, c o n is a closed syllable, trib, another closed syllable, and the last one is silent e, ute. Contrib, ute. And the last one, Rec, REC is closed, UG, OG is closed, and NISE is our silent E syllable. Recognize. Hopefully you did a great job reading those three syllable words. Thank you for watching this video on the silent E syllable. Click on the link below for more resources for teaching on the silent E syllable. Thank you for coming to Smart and Special Teaching.